1007. This is the News at 4. And good afternoon. Welcome along to the News at 4 on this Monday afternoon. We're glad you're with us. Tornadoes barreled through several states in the south and midwest, crippling communities, leaving a trail of death and destruction. The human cost continues to climb. Uh, NBC is reporting at least six states affected by the tornadoes that we saw Friday and Saturday night. This was a huge tornado, unprecedented in that it happened outside of the typical tornado season being this large. We want to bring in our meteorologist Bree Eggers to talk about what everyone is talking yeah. about today, Bree, just the magnitude of this tornado yeah. and of course the lives lost and the destruction. It's just devastating. And all weekend long we've been seeing the pictures and the reports at least 100 fear dead towns have been completely leveled. These are some of those storm reports showing up on my map here. You can see how vast this uh, area was that was affected by these tornadoes that barreled through specifically these lines of these dots that you see here indicating tornadoes, how long the tornado was able to last and stay on the ground and actually carve a path in the ground, indicating that it was certainly a very strong tornado, probably at the top of the list at EF4 and EF5. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Another problem with this outbreak, not just the fact that it happened in December, but it also happened at night. So nocturnal tornadoes can always prove to be more deadly because they are happening at night where a lot of people are sleeping. They're in their homes. They don't have a weather radio, and so they're not getting those warnings as they're happening. December, December tornadoes are not rare, but we've been getting a lot of questions into the newsroom saying, this has got to be a crazy event. I just can't remember the last time we've heard about something like this. This event in its a specific event as a specific event was unprecedented, but December tornadoes are not really so uncommon. Deadly tornado outbreaks do happen more commonly in the spring and fall where we have clashing of different air masses. We have a lot of hot, moist air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico and some cooler, dry air that's coming in from our continental polar regions and as those air masses clash you'll find rotation in some of our stronger supercell storms but on average just looking at the month of December two dozen tornadoes can form and have been reported in the lower 48 states during the month of December and some of those tornadoes have proven to be deadly and we have seen those on record but this specific event this specific outbreak there's evidence that one of these supercell tornadoes stayed on the ground with rotation that lasted for over 11 hours and carved out a path that's more than 600 miles long, which is unprecedented for any month, not just December, but any month of the year. So looking at that EF scale, how we rate tornadoes, it's thought that this particular tornado is at the top of the end of the EF4 or the bottom end of an EF5, but you see that's at the top of the scale here. Now I want to put that in perspective. We won't know for sure what this tornado is ranked as until National Weather Service team goes out, surveys the damage, and they decide by looking at the damage if the town has been leveled, if tornado scars have been carved in the ground, and they'll decide if it was an EF4 or an EF5. If it is determined that this tornado was an EF5, it goes down in the record books with only two other EF5 tornadoes during the month of December. Now, I also want to mention uh, just to also put it in a local perspective, we have been getting a lot of questions. Is this the type of weather that we could see here locally? No, luckily our climate doesn't really have the ingredients that we need to see tornadoes. We'll average about 10 tornadoes throughout the entire year here in the gym state, here in Idaho. They're on the weaker end of the scale, EF0 or EF1. They happen in rural areas. We will always break in programming, let you know if there's a tornado warning. We always want to be on top of those important messages. But I think that this is uh, a testament to a bigger scale thing here, that we are experiencing a changing climate. Temperatures are warming, and this is an unprecedented event. Maybe tornadoes, not our cross to bear, but here locally, probably warmer temperatures, drought conditions, and also lengthy, longer, and worsening fire seasons. Bree, I'm glad you put that into perspective because I, don't, I think a lot of people watching at home are, are looking at what's going on devastated of course yeah. but thinking this has never and will never happen to me here in Idaho but you're right we deal with our own extremes exactly all right Bree thank you 